right, hello, and welcome to Roger Supply Tech Talk. I'm Kevin Magnabosco. Today we're going to talk about how to check a pressure switch and why we're checking pressure switches. Uh, manufacturers all have pressure switches on all the equipment. Uh, we have a lot of return to pressure switches that may or may not necessarily be bad. Today we're going to use the field piece SDMN6, which will actually check a pressure switch opening and closing by pressure. So you'll know exactly if that pressure switch is opening and closing. Uh, first thing you'll want to do is you'd have to look at your pressure switch to get your recorded value of that switch. This particular one here is a negative 1.15 inch water column. Take our meter unplug our wires going to the pressure switch. This meter has wires here that actually measures continuity on that switch. Unplug your hose going to the pressure switch. And put the hose from your meter onto that. All right, so as we pump, turn the pump up, we get to our closing pressure. Once that switch is closed, the little light on the machine will come on saying that that pressure switch is closed. Then you can back it down and see exactly where that pressure switch is opening. And this particular pressure switch open, re-back opened up at 1.13. So the pressure switch is good. In our next videos, we will go over how to check the inducer motors and also how to check voltage going through the circuits.